Cat Bushcraft channel. My name is Matt. I wanted to talk briefly today about one of my preferred forms of achieving ignition when I'm fire making in the woods or in the field, and that is using my magnification lens or solar glass uh, in order to create an ember uh, so that I can blow that into flame. I like using a magnification lens because as long as the sun is shining, I'm not expending any resources. If you use a ferrocium rod, every time you strike that rod, you re re remove material and therefore eventually deplete that resource. Even with something such as a flint and steel kit, while the steel would probably last a lifetime of fire making, eventually your flint or your quartz or whatever the hard rock that you use to strike uh, that steel with is going to dole out on the edges, eventually wear out. So solar magnification, I think, is a very effective and efficient way to create fire as long as the sun's shining. And I just wanted to give a quick demonstration today on a couple of ways that you can use that and that I use that, just give you a demonstration. So stick with me. Okay, just before I get started with the demonstration, I wanted to show you how I carry my magnification lens. This is my flint and steel kit, just here in this little tin. And the tin itself is a multi-use item, which really pairs well with the magnification lens because you can use it as a char tin. And this one's never been charred. I have another char tin actually in my tinder pouch. So I keep this one nice and clean, but it could be used for that purpose if necessary. It also could be used because it is a bright silver finish. It could be used as a signal uh, a signaling device, which actually I flashed myself in the eye by accident while I go. It works really well. All right. The lid itself is a great little uh, platform that you can use when you're building your ember. If you're holding the magnification lens and you've got something here that you're you're burning, that way you don't have it in your hand uh, or you don't have to set it down on a wet surface or so forth. It just gives you a dry, nice place to hold the materials you're working with. All right. And then, of course, you've got all your materials in here. And this is my magnification lens. It's a glass lens. It's about two inches in diameter. I believe it is an 8x or 8 power uh, magnifying glass. Um, not 100% sure, but it's, it's approximately. Um, it's a very good glass, and I think I paid about five bucks for it at a gun show. So these, these things can be had for relatively cheap. Um, in there, I also have some charred cloth, which I don't use very often. I use uh, um, normally charred punk wood or charred inner barks, things like that, that, um, that work well. Um, I like natural materials for char because it's something that I can find and replace often, whereas cloth is a resource I don't really want to expend using it as char. Um, so that's something that I would prepare ahead of time if I were going to use it. But in the woods, I'm always going to be working with natural materials. Um, and then, of course, my flint, uh, my steel, flint and steel kit is there as well. So that's how I carry it. Let's put it to use now. Okay, now I want to show you just how easy it is to create an ember with this uh, with this sunglass. You can see I've got just a piece of charred punk wood there on my little lid. All right, and what I'm gonna do is focus, focus the most concentrated spot of sunlight with this lens. And that's another reason I like using this lid is because I can kind of see until I get my lens focused. And once that's focused in on that piece of char, It's already, it's already an ember. The whole thing is already an ember. And just to show you how easy, used a small piece of uh, our small nest there all right and I still got the ember right there still burning all right and so that was a very quick way to achieve that ignition okay so the next step with this is what if we don't have char and we want to use our magnification lens as our ignition source now I need to find some type of a natural material that I can compress and start to char with my lens and hopefully create, starving it of oxygen, hopefully be able to create that ember. One of the perfect materials for that is tulip poplar bark. And that's what I'm using here for my bird nest. And I just have a little one that hopefully I'll use to blow in the flame. No need to waste a big tinder bundle for a demonstration, but I've just created a small little bitty marble, basically marble sized out of tulip poplar bark. I just roll it up in my hand and that compresses it down and now, 
what I'm going to do is, in my lid, focus the lens once more, just as I did before with the char. Only difference is now it may take a minute longer because since this is not charred, it's not going to catch as readily. But if I work with it enough, I can work this into an ember. And you can see it's already smoking. I want to make sure to build that up big enough because otherwise it'll just go out. So you want to take your time when you're using this as opposed to char. Really get that thing hot. That may be good. Let's see if I can use it. There we go. Stubborn. <laughs> but it will work. All right, well there is a third way that you could potentially get fire using your magnification lens, and that is using materials like this. And this is just a dry broom sage, which I picked out along the edge of the field. It's blowing in the wind, so it's very dry. And on occasion, just playing around, I focused the lens in on this type of material and had it just combust directly to flame. No blowing on a tinder bundle or anything like that, it just goes straight to flame. However, that's not been very consistent for me. It works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so I don't choose to depend on that type of technique. In my mind, there's two surefire ways to use your magnify magnifying glass, and that is with char or without char. If you have the charred material, it's very quick as you saw. You can create that ember almost instantaneously, blow it into flame, and you're good. If you don't have the charred material, it's still relatively easy. You just have to compress some natural materials. It takes a little longer, but you'll get that ember and then use that to blow in the flame with your tender bundle. So either way, I think is very effective. Um, and both ways I think are great because neither of them expends your resources. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and, and small demonstration of using a magnification lens for ignition. If you like the channel, please subscribe. I hope to hear some comments from you guys. Look forward to keeping in touch with you through the channel. Until next time, God bless and take care. Mm -hmm.